Hi, I'm Chris Doherty. In this short video, we're going to outline five reasons your business needs information security. Remember, information security is just another asset within your organisation and it could be under threat. You need to think about what that means to your business. What is information security? It's the confidentiality, the integrity and the availability of data in your workplace, regardless of the movement of that data and where it is held or used. It's the protecting of the information so that people who should have access to it do, but those that should not, do not have the access. And it's related to the assets and people within our organisation. So, number one, there is an increased opportunity of hacking and breaches taking place around all sorts of information security. We're aware of this at home, we're aware of this in our smartphones, and we're, of course, we're aware of this in our workplace. We all create and distribute and access more information than ever before, and this is continuing to increase as time goes on. The opportunity for hacking of data, therefore, has also increased, and the benefit to the hacker can be a multitude of reasons. It's important to recognise that. Number two, the impact and damage to your business. So we have to understand the data we hold and the risks associated to it if we have some form of impact or breach in our business. What impact could that have to us and also to our stakeholders? Could that impact be significant? What could the costs associated to that impact be? And we must remember there are often hidden costs, not just the loss of the data, but the disruption and the time needed and the investment required to put things back to normal, to return from that attack. There are, of course, also legal and reputational issues to consider. Number three, it's everyone's responsibility. Everyone in the organisation must understand their link to the controls in place associated to our data and information security. It is not the IT department's responsibility. It's not management's responsibility. It's everyone's. People will follow the directions you give them as long as you ensure that you provide them with the necessary information why they should follow the certain rules. We must also make them aware of the impact if they do not follow these rules, what could happen? Remember, your weakest link in your information security system may often be the people in your workforce. We're all in it together, associated to this information security, so let's ensure we involve everyone. Number four, there are simply legal requirements that we must follow as an organisation. Do you understand what those legal requirements are? If not, it's time to brush up on it. There are lots of free resources available on the website where you can gain greater knowledge associated to what the law requires us to do. Remember, there could be additional costs to you if there is a breach or if there is an issue that occurs in the form of fines and penalties. And the breaches in these legal requirements could ultimately end up in the press. It could have reputational damage and could impact our future business health. And finally, number five, business continuity and response. What impact could the breach or incident have on our business, on our normal daily work activities? Could it mean that these stop? What could the impact be to our clients and our other stakeholders? Continuity of their business services is paramount for our business to thrive and continue. Let's provide confidence to our people, to our suppliers, clients and other stakeholders that we have good plans in place to manage business continuity when these types of threats happen. And importantly, when they do happen, because they will, how do we respond to them? So, a couple of takeaways here. Identify critical information within our business. Identify the critical assets which handle that information. What are the potential threats and impacts and what impact would they have on us? 
What controls do we have? Or what controls do we need to have? And remember, it's everyone's responsibility. If you want to know a little bit more about information security, and in particular, information security management systems with ISO 27001, please have a look at this other YouTube video that we have, which goes into greater detail and provides some training around how you put these practices in place. Thanks very much for listening and please subscribe and follow us.